You like the hat and robes? I was just sitting for Sylvia Posner. She's uh, painting my official Caltech portrait. My wife, uh, Gwyneth, sewed them for a costume party Al Hibbs puts on every year. He put on uh, some geographical restrictions. He said all the costumes had to come from someplace between 10 and 50 degrees north. So I had to settle for going as a Ladakhi monk. But if I could, I would have dressed up as a Tuvan. You see, when I was a boy, I collected stamps. And the most fascinating ones came from a place called Tanu Tuva. It had everything. Majestic mountains, peaceful lakes, exotic people hunting and fishing, tending their livestock, reindeer, camels, yaks, horses. Ah, the horses. Tuva was like Shangri-La, except you could find it on a map. It, it was a little splotch of purple right in the heart of Asia, <coughs> just outside outer Mongolia. But then, during the war, Tuva disappeared somehow. And I always wondered, whatever happened to Tanu Tuva? What happened to its people and their way of life? Can any traces of that lost land still be seen today? Can any echoes still be heard? Do you hear it, or is it just my imagination? Is it the wind blowing across the step? No. Or is it a voice? A human voice? A Tuvan voice singing two notes at the same time. Thank you. 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 Thank you.